Welcome to Fuffy Ferrets. I am Julie. This is Noctis. And that, that was Sellas. Got her in there for a minute. Today we're going to go over something that I think is very important. As I'm sure you know, there's a lot of information online. And almost any person who has a ferret in their house will tell you, you have to do never-ending research on them. It never ends. It is a constant thing. You're always learning. Something else to know is that a lot of information online is false. Today we're going to take a look specifically at PetSmart and Petco and their care instructions for ferrets. Which, by the way, spoiler, I am ashamed of you, PetSmart. I am very ashamed of you. I went on both Petco and PetSmart and looked up ferret care, and I'm going to read to you what they have and insert my little comments that I have. On PetSmart's page, it has five things to know about your ferret. Experience level, advanced. Size, ferrets can grow up to 20 inches or 50 centimeters long. I never measured them. They're like wrist to elbow. <laughs> Lifespans. Ferrets can live from seven to nine years. I've heard of longer and unfortunately I've heard of shorter. Behavior. Ferrets are more active during the day. They sleep soundly, sometimes even while being picked up and carried around. When they sleep, they sleep. When they sleep, they sleep hard. When I looked it up on Google, it technically said ferrets are a word I can't pronounce. Ferrets are crepuscular. I don't think I said that right. Ferrets are crepuscular. I don't know how to say that. Which means they are naturally active at dusk and dawn, but a ferret schedule is easily adjusted to yours. Basically, you can wake them up when you want to play. They'll sleep when you're gone. That's what happens with us. Really, they're out for so long that a lot of the times they're asleep. We get like a really big burst when they first come out of like, play with us, we love you. And then they're like, okay, we're done, we're gonna go now. Did you know they may have a very strong odor, particularly unaltered male ferrets? The English translation for, this isn't even English. The English translation for the scientific name for ferret is stinky thief. First off, that sentence didn't feel right to say out loud. I don't know about English, but I googled. What does the name ferret mean? Ferrets were domesticated about 2,500 years ago. The name ferret is derived from the Latin word ferretus, meaning little thief. It doesn't say stinky. You're stinky. Everything smells. Dog smells. Cat smells. Hamster smells. Fish smell. Uh, maybe we shouldn't just go around pointing out, oh my gosh, they can smell. They already have a bad rap on it. Everybody is constantly being like, oh, they smell. Your house smell like ferrets? No. They smell like corn chips to me. I have a friend who she raw feeds her ferrets and their tails smell like grapes. Why isn't that on the website? If you raw feed your ferrets, their tails may smell like grapes. Fruity. How do I set up my ferrets home? Social and inquisitive, ferrets can live happily in pairs or groups and can be litter box trains. Accurate. They do love pairs, they do love groups, they like to hang out. Your ferret will need a well-ventilated multi-level cage that's at least 30 by 29 by 18 inches bigger if it houses multiple ferrets, and large enough to hold a food dish, a water bottle, and a hiding house. The habitat should have a separate area for ferrets to exercise, sleep, and use the litter box. Slight problem here. So if you ever see my cage, you will notice that they do have a water bottle. This is mainly for Luna. She's always had a water bottle. She has a lot of trouble using the dish of water. Water bottles are not actually recommended for ferrets. They can chip their little teeth and cause a lot of like dental problems. So you should always have bowls of water for ferrets. Though I also have diggers. Little Splish Splash, Regis, and Tara, and Sellas, and Saffron all like to dig in the water. So you gotta refill it a lot. They have a link for cages. The cages that they show are not ideal. Realistically, the Ferret Nation, in my opinion, is the best. The doors open on both sides so you can clean it really well. They're not that much more money than some of these other cages. Like, a single level one is like a hundred something-ish. And a lot of these other cages you're finding in a pet store are going to be like 89 to like a hundred something anyway. So you may as well go for a good one. Even just to start, the single Ferret Nation is going to be a lot better than some of the things you're going to find in PetSmart or Petco. Place the habitat out of direct sunlight in a temperature, low humidity room that's 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Our house is almost constantly at 75 degrees for this reason. Actually, I think before we got fair, I think my husband just likes 75 degree 
weather. Place a triangular litter pan in the corner of the cage, far from your ferret's food and water. Fill it with litter made of recycled paper pellets. The triangle pans I am not a fan of. Noctis always had a problem with them. We originally had the triangle pan and the girls were okay with that, but Noctis kept, I think it's because he was so big, he kept backing over the edge and just pooping right outside of the litter box because since it was a triangle and he was so long, it didn't quite work. Other people will use like big litter pans on the bottom. We have the triangle ones that have a slope because if we use the cat pan, I think Noctis would again, his butt would go over the end. So we have the ones that go on a slope so they're shorter to go and then taller on the back. And those work good. We have it on the top and on the bottom. We, everybody has their own pooping plays. The rectangle ones work the best for us. The recycled paper litter, they have the one specifically made for ferrets, but then they have the one made for cats, which is the same thing, but cheaper. I end up getting the cat one, but since it doesn't have a picture of a ferret on it, it's cheaper. There is a lightly scented version that I've gotten by accident a few times. My ferrets don't recognize that as litter. They recognize the lightly scented as a toy. It's also not good for their little noses. They're playing in a pile of clothes down there, so why I keep looking. I got the lightly scented one by accident, and it was late one night, so I had to use it just for the night, and like Regis wasn't too happy with it, and he kept trying to like dig it out, and I'm like, just, just, just for tonight, mama will go in the morning and get you the right stuff. I'm sorry, babies. So don't get the lightly scented. Make sure that you get the unscented one. What do ferrets eat? This is the part that pisses me off. What do ferrets eat? You don't know, PetSmart. Your ferret's diet should include commercial pellet food and fruit. No. Pellet food is ideal for ferrets, who otherwise would pick out the most delicious morsel of a mixed food. Pellet should be 95% of your ferret's diet. Feed your ferret once a day, keeping the bowl about three quarters full. You are stupid. Pellet food is not the best. You're stupid. The next part's gonna make me really pissed. Right now, you're just dumb. Ferrets aren't gonna pick out the most delicious morsel. What are you talking about? Raw diets, from my understanding, is the best diet for ferrets. I have not transitioned, but I did change them from Marshalls, which Luna had been on originally, to Wysong. Ferrets are carnivores. They can't have weird fruits, veggies, and all that. They need meat. Do not feed them cat food. This, this is the part that pisses me off. Once a week, offer your ferret fruit, such as an apple, banana, or melon, or other appropriate fruits. This should make up no more than 5% of their diet, if you want to <coughs> kill them. That is so no, no, do not offer them fruit. That is a lie. That is so bad for their health. You're giving people false information. You're giving them lies. I don't, not a fan, not a fan of PetSmart. I need to find somewhere new to get litter from because PetSmart pissed me off. Do not give your ferret candy. Do not give your ferret treats that are sugar. Do not give your ferret fruits. Do not give your ferret vegetables. Carnivores do not eat fruit. If they did, you would see pictures of T-Rexes eating broccoli. They like T-Rexes, but longer, and they're on the ground. Like, T-Rex, rah, there it is. The T-Rex fell over. Be sure your ferret has access to clean water at all times. How to groom my ferret. Ferrets like a private area of their own. Get each of your ferrets a hammock or tent for sleeping and lounging. They do like hammocks, they do like cat beds. You should have a lot of different sleeping areas. They like to mix it up. Ferrets like to chew on hard plastic or cloth toys. They also enjoy ferreting out the best route through play tunnels. That's true. You need to constantly check their toys. Noctis has a bad habit of gnawing on toys. So the second I see a rip, goodbye. For exercise, put ferrets in an escape proof playpen or walk them on a leash. Iris doesn't like a leash. Some of mine do. Some of them are really good with harness and leash. Noctis is great with it. Regis goes weirdly feral, like he's a wild animal. Iris hates it. She not leash. For us, we have the kitchen blocked off and the rest of the house is almost constantly ferret proof though they are constantly finding ways to get into stuff anyway but we have like an 800 square foot house so it's not the biggest it's like the size of an apartment kind of with seven of them running around i feel like that's they need the whole space for that at the end of each section they do have a link for stuff you can buy so this is definitely marketing though what the is with the fruit. How to keep my ferret healthy. Try not to handle a new ferret for three to four days after bringing them home to give them time to adjust. I don't know about that. Um, when I got Noctis, he was really little and he kept making the cutest little grunty noises and he just wanted attention and to be picked up. So I don't know what the rule of thumb is. Like Tara and Celis, the same thing. Like Tara definitely wanted my husband to pay attention to her. So 
I don't know about this three to four days of not being touched. Like, I don't know. Don't let ferrets play on mattresses or foam cushions because they may be tempted to chew and swallow pieces of the soft item. For the same reason, never give ferrets toys made of soft rubber or foam. Accurate. Do not give them anything made of soft rubber or foam. They are going to chew it. Also, do not leave your controllers out if you have video games. They will chew the controllers. The little handle, the little knob, they're going to chew it. The problem is controllers are replaceable. But if your ferret ingests a piece of that, your ferrets are not replaceable. So you need to make sure there is no plastic that they can get to on an almost constant basis. Ferrets don't mix well with cats and dogs, so keep these species separate. I have cats. Tara came to say hi. We have cats. Our cats actually are fine with the ferrets. They prefer not to be near the ferrets, but they don't actively like hunt the ferrets. This one, this one will take on the cats. She will win against Camilla. She goes for Camilla in the butt and she bites her. I think this one is more on a ferret and pet basis. There's, I have a lot of friends on Instagram who also have other pets and ferrets and they're fine. I've seen a lot of people with cats, dogs, ferrets. I don't think you should let your ferret near an unknown animal or an unknown cat or dog, but if it's yours and they know each other and it's okay and you're gonna keep an eye on them, I don't see a problem. I do keep an eye on Zeke. Zeke wants to swat Regis. Not with his claws out, he just likes to see Regis run away. When your ferret has settled in, contact a veterinarian with small animal experience if you notice any of these signs of stress or illness. Don't wait for a sign. Contact a veterinarian. Anyway, you need to know what your plan is. Don't wait for anything here. Cloudy, sunken or swollen eyes, lethargic behavior, bare patches of fur, difficulty urinating, weight loss, not eating or drinking normally, sneezing, discharge from their eyes, nose, or mouth, diarrhea or discolored dropping. All of that is accurate. Pretty much if anything is wrong with your ferret, you should contact a vet. Pet safety tips. These are kind of generic from what I understand. Use caution when handling pets and remember, they may bite or scratch, especially when stressed. Again, I don't think this is specifically ferret. This section is overall pets in general. Never grab the fur or tail. Supervise children around pets. All animals, in all caps, can potentially carry viral, bacterial, fungal, and parasitic diseases contagious to humans. Again, this isn't specifically at ferrets. Pet smart is stupid. That's what we've learned from this. Like there was a couple of things I'm like, Meh. but like that one comment about the fruit, that's enough to piss me off. Giving your ferret fruit is like drinking a cup of Windex. Hopefully that helped. Remember, don't trust everything you read online. Do as much research as possible. Oh, there's too many staples. Thanks. Thanks for watching.